everybody out there. I'm excited to talk to you all today. I just received my brand new Phantom 3 4K today. I've been looking for videos on how to upload the firmware and I have not been able to find it. But it's okay. The drone is here, I'm here, and I'm going to show you guys how to upload the firmware on the Phantom 3 4K. I am charging up the battery right now. Once the batteries get fully charged, I will come back and we'll pick up where we left off. Okay, so I'm back. The batteries are charged. So what I'm going to do, here's the battery. It's charged. Um, I don't know if you could see it there. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the quadcopter. <clears throat> okay. It goes in one way. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on, uh, I'm going to turn on the computer. Now, if you didn't download the app, which is called DGI Go, you could download it from the App Store. As you can see here, it's showing. See, this is a problem that I had when I was trying to download it. I don't know if you guys could see. Hopefully you could see. But it's showing the, the Phantom 3 standard. And if you go to the drop down, it shows you professional, advanced, and standard. And it does not show you the Phantom 4K. So what we're going to do is we are going to locate the Phantom 4K. So we're going to turn it on. I don't know. Uh, you press it once and then you press it twice and it, you press it one then hold it for two seconds okay that's on the same the same with the, you heard it the same thing with the remote you press one then for two seconds and then that's it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our Wi-Fi here uh, where is it where is it where is it, where is it? settings and we should see it right here's a Wi Fi. We should see the Phantom, which is there, it is right here Phantom 3. Okay, the password 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Connect. It's going to connect. Now we're going to go back to the app. <coughs> And we should see it now. There it is. There it is. So it should let us know that we need, there it is, new firmware available. So it's going to say update now, but it's not going to let me because it's going to say, um, watch, watch what it's going to say. Network connection failed. So that means we have to go back to the Wi Fi. I need to connect to my internet so I could download the software. So let's go back to the DGI. I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to press continue to download. OK. As you can see, it's downloading. I don't know if you could see. Hopefully, you could see. Yeah. It's at four percent. Let me see. Restricted to height. Okay. It shouldn't take that long to download. I believe it takes a little bit longer when you're actually downloading it to the um, <coughs> to the aircraft. So let's just wait a little bit here. I will be back so you don't have to sit here and watch all this okay so it finished downloading now now it's gonna say start upgrade and when you press start upgrade it's gonna say device disconnected so again we gotta go back <clears throat> we gotta connect our Wi-Fi to the Phantom 3 connect 
you go back to the app press OK start upgrade now when we start upgrade look at what the copter is going to do okay it's updating you can tell by the colors of the copter and we're at five percent I don't know if you can see there okay but this one it's probably gonna take a little bit of time let me see it's at it's at 30 percent right now It says updating process requires approximately 30 minutes. Do not power off and keep device connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, I will be back and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, I came back because I want you to hear this. So you know that it's actually uploading, downloading the program. And I don't know if you could see there's like a green light there. Okay, and it's it sounds like a printer or something but anyways these are the things to confirm to make sure that you're downloading the software and we are at 67 percent see I guess it I guess it loads quicker I mean I am going through my Wi-Fi at home it says it takes 30 minutes but it hasn't even been not even five um, so I will get back to you we're at 67 percent all right I'm back anyways uh, something just came to my mind <clears throat> as we are downloading the firmware I want you to notice how the camera straightened out now normally when you take the drone out of the box the camera looks like a little wobbly whatever but since it's been downloading the software the camera has gotten straightened out I haven't touched it I haven't done nothing to it anyways uh, just something like that I would mention uh, we're still at uh, 84% I believe Yeah, we're at 87 percent. All right, I'll be back.
Okay, so here we are, and actually it says update success. So let's see if we do have a success on the update, which clearly, um, let's go to camera. Uh, no, let's skip. And we have visual. Calibrations normal mode. All right, let's get out of that. So obviously, and it seems seems pretty good so far. So let's see if we could align the camera. There is a setting here for the camera alignment. I believe it's here. Adjust gimbal, auto gimbal, calibrate auto gimbal. That's what I want to do. Check that the aircraft is leveled and nothing is obstructing the grimble. Range of motion. Press OK to begin. I've already checked that my table is leveled. Uh, there we go. Right here. And let's, uh, let's press OK. OK. Now it says start gimbal calibration. Do not move the aircraft. All right. Let's see. Alright. Is it doing a dance? That person right behind her, that is me. Now it says here. Oh, uh, you could read. But it says gimbal calibration complete. Let's press OK. And yes, it does look leveled. Um, anyways. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, please remember, thumbs up. I'm new at this. Uh, so any subscriptions I could get would be great. And as you can see, not only do I play with drones, but I am a reloader. Uh, so I'm going to put a lot of videos out there. But first, I'm going to play a little bit with my drone. Have a little bit of fun. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember, thumbs up and peace.